Hello. Blind Pew here. Whilst we wait for any development with the Thargoids, I thought it was a good time to recap on 5 key alien mysteries that remain unresolved, but which could have a huge impact in future. Regular receivers of my transmissions will know that I have looked into these mysteries before, so do take a look at my previous transmissions. As usual, I'm joined by my chief of engineering, Ben Gunn. Hi there. And, via comms link, by Jed Munoz, my ex, temporary communications officer, and, self-styled, galaxy's most famous explorer. Yes, I have arrived. So, the five unsolved alien mysteries. Mystery 1 relates to ex-Federation President Jasmine Halsey. This is quite a good time to revisit this mystery because, following years of silence, Jasmine Halsey is in the news this week with Galnet announcing that, having retired to the Alliance, she is to return to the Federation as a witness of the trial of Fleet Admiral Lucas Vincent concerning the destruction of Starship 1 in 3301. So, we may be about to witness a development on this mystery. Oh, incidentally, before we get to that, if you would like to see more transmissions from me please, do click on the like button, or comment below this transmission. It will take very little of your time, but does have a real and direct impact on how frequently I'm able to make these transmissions. Thank you. So, mystery number one is Jasmine Halsey. Mystery number one is Jasmine Halsey. As you know she was president of the Federation from 3300 until June 3301. In May of 3301 Starship One went missing with Halsey on board, together with the Vice President Mailer, whilst on a goodwill tour of Federation Frontier Systems. Despite an extensive search, Federation authorities could not locate the ship. Unable to carry out her duties as president, Felicia Winters was initially sworn in as acting president, but ultimately Zachary Hudson took on the presidency. In January of 3302 the galactic community found wreckage of Starship One along House's last known route. In February 3302 an escape pod was found containing Jasmina Halsey herself. On recovery Jasmina was changed. She had seen things whilst floating in space. Specifically, she said, where is the file? Ben do we have it here somewhere? Yes, we do Pew, just playing it now. It was wonderful. Amazing. I saw the universe, and our galaxy within it, as I'd never seen it before, and I felt the presence of the real caretakers of our galaxy. The paradox of their existence, tiny, yet gargantuan, fleeting yet eternal. They spoke to me as I drifted in the void. It was amazing. I must share their message. I saw a place of extraordinary beauty. A paradise. It was truly wonderful. This was no dream, it was a glimpse of something very real. We must find this place. It could be our future. Halsey later made an appeal for exploration data in an attempt to confirm the existence of the superintelligent beings, the caretakers, she claims to have seen, but nothing conclusive was found. At this point she received an offer from the Alliance Prime Minister, Edmund Mahan, to relocate to Alliance space and become his advisor, and we heard very little more. A couple of points to add here. Firstly, this was the first in a string of evidence showing the Alliance are trying to acquire alien knowledge before the Federation and Empire. Secondly, I have heard transmissions from the notable author Drew Wagger that in passing, have several times mentioned over the years that. This is a mystery that has a solution and has not yet been resolved. That it is connected to the various locked regions of space we cannot visit. That he is not at liberty to say more due to being under a non-disclosure agreement. Possibly with the Pilots Federation or perhaps a higher authority. So, I consider this a key mystery. Who or what are these caretaker superintelligent beings? How Seesaw? What is the real place, the paradise, she claims to have seen? How is this connected to the locked regions of space? The investigation continues, but perhaps more clues will arrive during the court case this week. Pew, this is simply ridiculous. Why is that Jed? I am the galaxy's most famous explorer. It is simply ridiculous to think, yes Mina Watts her name could discover new alien life before me. Jed Nunyos. Uh, Yes Jed, I think we have learned to take your views with a pinch of salt by now. 
By the way, talking about locked regions of space brings us neatly onto the second unresolved mystery. Mystery 2 relates to the Thargoids and the locked coal sector 70. As you will be aware, if you travel to one of the Thargoid surface sites, using a Thargoid sensor, probe, and link you can activate the unknown device at the center of the site. Doing so generates a holographic star map, but also causes sounds to be emitted. Doing this will cause you to receive three unknown signals. Spectrographic analysis of these signals produces the image on screen now. This is effectively an instruction of how to find another Thargoid surface site from the original you obtained the unknown signals from. A complete understanding of this spectrogram is beyond the scope of this transmission, so look at my previous transmissions, if you are interested. This is all going over my head. Try and focus just for a bit Jed. However, in summary for this transmission, the image at the bottom of the spectrogram represents the site you are at and the three unknown signals you receive emitted from that site. The image at the top represents a new Thargoid surface site you can obtain coordinates for. If you play the three unknown signals to the Thargoid link in space it responds with three new signals. These will direct you to the system at the top of the spectrogram, the next Thargoid surface site. Doing the same in the system that the new site is in causes the link to emit a beam directing you to the site. But how do you find that new system? Well, it was discovered that when you play the three original unknown signals to the Thargoid link in space it responds with three more and these are 1. The distance of the new site from Merope, incidentally the system on the left of the spectrogram. We know that Merope is important to the Thargoids, but not exactly why, other than their presence there. 2. The distance from the system containing the Thargoid surface site, you activated. 3. The distance from a system in the Coal 70 sector that is currently locked. Coal sector 70 FYNC 21, 3. Incidentally the system on the right of the spectrogram it is thought. These distances are also all expressed as fractions of a standard unit of distance and that standard unit of distance is the distance between Merope and Coal sector 70 FYNC 21, 3. It is clear from this that Coal Sector 70 FYNC 21, 3 is as important to the Thargoids as Merope. But we can't go there to investigate as it is locked. So, mystery 2 is, why is Coal Sector 70 so important to the Thargoids? What is there, and why is it locked? Don't forget, Recon Construction, phew. Good point Ben. Look up the company Recon Construction. It has appeared in Galnet several times as having exclusive construction operation actually in Coal Sector 70 along with some shady news about a death at a site out there. We can find out no more due to the whole region being locked. The opening up of Coal Sector 70 would therefore be of massive future importance. Actually, that also takes us nicely into Mystery 3. Mystery 3 is a basic one, and one that commanders often miss, but is of crucial importance. There are several locked regions of the galaxy we cannot access, as mentioned above. There are actually more than you might think, scattered across the galaxy. The question is simply, why can we not access these areas? Who controls the design of our in-ship galactic navigation systems, and why do they choose to prevent access to certain areas? Clearly some can get into these areas, like Recon Construction mentioned before. You might think this is not a mystery, and is simply the design of our ships but this is not the case. It has been mentioned a few times, that the galactic community should question this more. It is said, that the Pilots Federation controls our ship systems, but who controls them? The Dark Wheel. The Shadowy Organization. The Club. We simply do not yet know, but who or what is preventing us accessing certain regions of space is a key mystery, and one that will have a huge impact on our future. Mystery 4 also contains, in part, a locked system. Mystery 4 is the organization Black Flight. If you visit the relay station PSJ-17 in the Kaleno system, 
communication hub Zeta 12 in the Electra system or the Nome Convoy Beacon in the Nome system, or just watch my transmissions on the subject. You will learn about a shadowy organization, with possible links to the Federation, that had been tasked with preventing the community at large finding the Thargoid surface sites. This organization was first seen in 3302 when an unidentified diamondback explorer with an unusual designation S6-7 carried out a high-speed scan of Obsidian Orbital in the Maia system. They normally fly diamondback scouts or explorers with similar designations. That's right Ben. It is not fully known who controls this organization or if, in fact, they have links to the club. The organization that seeks to control galactic events and humanity's response to the Thargoids. However, all investigation into Black Flight leads to one thing. Overlook. Black Flight is controlled out of a megaship called Overlook. Overlook is located in the system HIP 22460. However, there is one problem. Yes, you guessed it. HIP 22460 is locked, and you cannot get there, believe me I have tried. As the galaxy's most famous and loved explorer, it will not surprise you to know that I have been to HIP 22460 and discovered it. Not surprised to hear you say it Jed, but of course I don't believe you. Anyway, getting back to the point, Black Flight knew all about the Thargoid sites before most of us, and tried to hide it from us. They located their base of operations in a lock system. Surely that system contains the most valuable thing they were trying to stop us finding. But until we can access the system the trail has gone cold. So, mystery 4 is, who are Black Flight controlled by, and what is in system HIP 22460? Why is that system locked and what is their megaship, Overlook, protecting or hiding there? And finally, mystery 5. Mystery 5 concerns the Guardians. Mystery 5 concerns the Guardians. The Guardians are an ancient alien species that appear to have become extinct. We know that they were involved in conflict with the Thargoids quite successfully. We know that they developed sentient AI to combat the Thargoids. We know that ultimately, that sentient AI appears to have exterminated the Guardians. However, there is something else. If you follow the Guardian timeline from the various Ramta missions you will be aware that before the conflict with the Thargoids and before the Guardians were exterminated by their AI, they developed into two factions. Those that were starting to embed new technology into their bodies, I call these the Guardian Cyborgs, and those that rejected this practice as abhorrent. The first faction was banished, and we hear no more of them. This is contained in the Guardian data file, Technology 20 if you are interested. Is it possible that this faction moved somewhere else in the galaxy, with the second faction then following the timeline we are familiar with, combating the Thargoids, splitting again in the second Guardian Civil War and ultimately becoming extinct? If so, the Exiled may still be in existence. If you travel to the Skirrell's Nest Bar in the Pleone system, and listen to the locals you may hear the following rumor. Then play the recording, if you wouldn't mind. Play and now pew. Hey guys, did you hear about that crackpot the other week? She's some kind of explorer, oh man, what's her name? So, after a few drinks I said to her, I said, hey Sean, or whatever, what do you know? She looks at me square in the face and says, oh I know things my friend. I found an alien structure deep in the abyss. It was made of some kind of metal and flesh. You watch out, the aliens are coming to get us. A structure of metal, and, flesh, sounds potentially cyborg to me. So, Mystery 5. Where are the, exiled, guardian cyborgs? Of course, there is one further mystery, that it would be remiss of me not to mention. However, I do not include it in the same category as the mysteries in this transmission, because there are no real clues to follow. I mean Raxxler of course. Perhaps I'll cover that later. I have been there. Shut up Jed. Yes, shut up Jed. Charming. By the way, I've put a couple of links up on screen to some of my other transmissions that I hope you will find interesting. If you like my transmissions I would be really grateful if you would click on one of these links as it really does have a direct impact on whether I can make more of these. 
oh, and like, dislike, subscribe and comment as well, if you would not mind. I read all comments, and they often have a bearing on the direction of future transmissions. So if you think I have Mr. Key Mystery, let me know now. Also, feel free to join my crew via the link below this transmission, if you are interested. Until next time, good luck commanders and I'll see you out there.